But may I talk for a moment just about drinking wine, about drinking alcohol. Friends, the Bible does not teach that it is a sin to drink at all. I think it's a point of wisdom for Christian leaders to not drink, and that's why I don't. But I can't tell you the Bible commands you to consume no alcohol. But I'll tell you with all my strength, the Bible commands you to not get drunk. And if you are overindulging in alcohol, it's a sin, and you need to repent of it, and you might just need some help. This is serious, friends. Do you know why it's serious? Not only for the damage that it does to your own life before God, but for all the other sins it leads people into. Isn't that true of alcohol? It's not just the sin itself, but all the other sins it leads people into in that point. So friends, we've got to take this very seriously. Again, as your pastor, I've got to be a Bible guy. I can't make up rules where the Bible says them. I cannot tell you, the Bible says you must be an absolute abstainer. I, I think that's a wise life choice, but I can't tell you the Bible commands it. But I can tell you the Bible commands it. You do not get drunk. And if you do, if you're getting drunk, if you're getting buzzed, then friends, you've got to realize this is not right, and I need to make this right before God. But here's the other point I want to make. Even though the point here in Jeremiah chapter 35 is not about drinking or not drinking, it's about obedience to their spiritual father, God honored the Rechabites for not drinking. And it is possible sometimes when Christians feel such a liberty to partake of alcohol that they put pressure upon those who don't want to drink that they should. Let me tell you, don't do that. If you feel that you have the liberty to moderately consume alcohol, and let me say, this is what I tell people, if you're going to consume alcohol, you should be conspicuous in your moderation. Anybody who sees you drink should say, wow, look, they didn't even drain the glass. Wow, they didn't ask for another. Wow, look, you should be conspicuous in your moderation. But look, let me say this. Don't you ever tease or mock somebody for not drinking if they're a believer. Because sometimes Christians do that. I wonder if they do it out of a guilty conscience. But don't you ever tease or mock somebody for not drinking. Because God didn't tease or mock the Rechabites. He honored them for their not drinking. 